Hello, right, we're back again. So, um, I really ought to show you that um, the Quadrify modifier does actually work on some models. So, this is a demonstration model I've just created that will show that. So, with that, let's have a look at it. So, let's go and select it. This is a 2D spline shape. Okay, so what we've got here is just a spline, and we've set the uh, interpolation of the spline to be adaptive. If you didn't do that, then we'd have sort of more more edges around it, yeah, more um, segments. Maybe that's a good thing or a bad thing, don't know. Um, okay, so there we go. We'll just leave it on adaptive, so it's nice and curvy. Then we'll add an extrude, and put that on, and we'll put edge facing on, and we can see what we've got here. So we've got lots of segments around here, not many across here. So Quadrify, I think, takes into account how many things are around the outside. So then we can go and quadrify it. So we've added the quadrify modifier, left it to 4%, we'll just turn that back on again. And that gives us what we're looking at. We can go down to the edit spline and we'll show what the stack. Um, we can say adaptive off and we can see that that will change. That's actually, yeah, okay, that's probably better, don't know. We can say optimize, don't optimize, and we say the steps could be like that. How about that? We can say it's three steps to get around it. Okay, and then we can look at Turbo Smooth and see where that gets us. Oh, it's gone all clunky. <laughs> Not a good idea, is it? So, uh, one of the good things about that looks weird, doesn't it? It looks like a dodgy looking sign. So, we go down to uh, Edit Spline and we just turn it on to Optimize. Doesn't help, but Adaptive will definitely help. There you go. So, you've got Turbo Smooth on here, and that's what we get in the end of the day. That is a lot of polygons. Um, and these are the actual polygons. If we turn that on to one maybe that's okay let's have a look at that in a render let's put that there let's see if it looks horrendous in the render uh, render uh, we can actually zoom in a bit can't we because let's just have a proper look there we go render okay so it sort of looks okay there um, we can increase that to two render that again yeah, so, okay, so, Quadrify does sort of work, you know, we'll give you some quads, it does give you a load of weird things around the outside though, it's not too happy, it does have a bit of a go, um, but yeah, it does work, so that's that's the thing you can take away from it, it is actually usable in some circumstances, not all, um, so at least we know, right, that's it, I really ought to have that cup of tea that I keep promising myself, so I'll, uh, See you in a bit. There you go. Cheers.